Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am K God. Greetings from Akwaibom State, Aku Abasibom State. Welcome to the Gym Network. I love you all. So, today I want to be sharing with us from the topic already how to get money for marriage and what you must not do while trying to source for those money yes now something happened some time ago i want to start with this background story so that you understand why i will be giving you some of those points and it will help you along a whole lot okay Something happened some time ago, some years ago, while I was, I was actually cutting somebody off, yeah, I don't know how to put, yeah, I was cutting somebody, so after the introduction and the whole thing, the next thing is preparing for the marriage, and he kept, he kept delaying, delaying and all of that, and I was, I had, I had already seen some signs that this wasn't going to work but I didn't know why I was still in that relationship and I know that this kind of a thing have happened to a lot of people and is also happening to some persons and that's why I'm sharing this with you you sometimes you are in a relationship you know right from the day one that is even wrong but you still stay put you don't know why you are staying put but most definitely by the time you make up your mind you're going to cut out of it so that was the situation i found myself after the introduction and i've gone for counseling and all of that but i wasn't still okay the marriage preparation was something else and the guy was a total scam i was actually waiting for an opportunity to just bail out and he came up with eh, you know and um, since you are working uh, I, and your money comes huge I will suggest you borrow me money lend me money so that I can use it to pay your bride price and do everything about the marriage after all you are married you are going to be my wife by the time we get married I will pay you back I was like are you sick sorry did you take something and say did you smoke or you drank something or what I don't understand and it was like he didn't take anything why that other women do it other men do it with their wife to be since we are going going to get married my money is his money and i looked him straight into the eyes and i said how dare you tell, say that to me i think you are sick even if i am crippled or what would i call it handicapped i wouldn't for any reason give money to a man to marry me and that was it that was how I walked out of that relationship so never you consent to that I'm going to come to that when I come to that point you will understand the reason why I have to bring this particular point here to you so in so the issue of money cannot be overemphasized in preparation for what marriage and that is what have held so many relationships down that is what some people have hinged their relationship on and it's taking longer than necessary some of them are very sincere why some are only building around that because they know that that relationship is not going to work out so but they are now using the issue of hey i don't have money so let's still wait until money comes just like in the aspect of building you don't save you can never save enough money to mar to get married neither can you to do just go into it have a land have a plan and start with the little you have that's in the case of building now in the case of marriage you already have the person you want to marry in mind or you have already proposed that's a good start then you kick up. So let's quickly dive into how to source for money for marriage. 
first and foremost is you people have agreed you have gone for introduction and all of that then it is now for prepare, uh, time to prepare for the men marriage the first thing you need to do is the both of you should have an agreement this is the day you want to get married you want to get married for instance april 16 2021 you the man you the woman the both of you have agreed that is the day that is the first thing you should be sincere about it not thinking okay maybe we should maybe mm -mm. the both of you should agree this is the day we want to get married that is how to start that was what myself and my husband did yes as, as at the time we want to get married there wasn't this money at hand but we have had an agreement and we set out plan my husband had to call me and say fix a date for me after my pastor have called me and say fix date i was like how what is happening my husband called me and said fix a date for me he gave me uh, a, a particular time frame he said fix a date from april to june and that was what i did from that april to june we have already set out the time for our introduction so that one is set but the time for the traditional marriage and the church marriage he said i should fix the dates that was what i did from that april i put down the saturdays up until june at the end of the day my husband picked the one from the last saturday in may and we agreed on it and that was how it worked yes we got married within from january to may is how many months that was it so that's why i say have a date after having a date the next thing you should do is you involve god if you have if you watch my last video if you have not quickly go watch it what marriage is you involve god because god is the originator of marriage father this is the date we have picked 16th of april 2021 is the date we have picked for our church marriage 14th of march is the date we have fixed for our traditional marriage rights 2021 lord we present it to you make this day happen in jesus name amen that's it and he will begin to do everything he he wants to do just to make because there has been what an agreement there is power in agreement that's the second point the first point is have an agreement have a day have a date set aside then the second one you get god involved in it then the third one is get your two families involved the family of the man the family of the woman tell your parents these are the dates we have picked for our marriage please play pray along with us so long as the families are involved they are aware everybody will begin to prepare from their end okay so 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 and so did like this we are doing this so so and so did like this we are doing this and they begin to ask you people so what is in place what will you need how do you want it do you want like in the in my own case my husband was asking me if i wanted a shwebi i wanted the bridesmaid how do i want the hall to look and all of that do you understand now that your parents are involved they will ask all of those questions so they will know where and where to come in okay the next point will be make your plans and dates known to your colleagues your friends and your well-wishers because in so doing they would they might be interested it is not compulsory they might be interested in helping out with some things maybe buying 10 crates of mineral five crates of mud or oh, somebody will say i will take care of your cake somebody will say i will take care of uh, the whole decoration somebody will say i will give one bag of rice do you understand so you make your friends know about the dates okay our preparation is uh, we are we are preparing towards so 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 do you get in your colleagues in the office your friends uh, in the church your neighborhood what wherever your acquaintances are you make it known to them then 
You don't, the next point will be don't wait for enough money as you are preparing for this. Because the mistake a lot of people do make is that they want to see millions, bang, bang, alert, bing, 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 in their bank account before they can now go for what? Shopping. Don't wait for mighty money to come in before you start shopping. If it is 100 naira you have, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, 20,000, whatever it can afford, you buy it. That was what I did. Yes, I did it. Oh, I know I would need a, a powder. I had that money. I bought it. Oh, I know I would need, <coughs> excuse me, I need a jewelry. I have that money. I didn't wait to buy everything I needed in one day. Mm -mm. I planned and go towards it as soon as those money come into my hand. That is how it works. As you are buying, the money keep coming because God is already involved. Families are involved. Friends are involved. Everybody is calling once in a while. So, have you gotten your wedding gown? Do you know where to rent it? Okay, I'm going to take care of it. Okay, go and look for wherever it is. Tell me the one you want. How much is going to cost? Tell me I'm going to send money. Yes, in my own case, one of my friends also sent me money to add up to money I wanted to because I rented my wedding gown and I like I wasn't that kind of a person that wants to buy a wedding gown or whatever like that. Anyway, everybody had their prefer preference. Me, that was what I preferred. A friend sent me money. Somebody bought my husband's suit. Why? Because he got family, friends, colleagues, and everybody involved. Do you understand? That is how money for marriage can come. If you wait and keep it and say, mm, it is only me and my husband, or more nothing will happen no. Do you understand? I want to talk to spin stars. Is it called spin stars? Spin stars. Spin stars. You understand? I mean, single ladies. Yes. I want to talk to you now. Heart to heart. Hmm? Kajo soro. Egbo miye. Listen to me and listen right. Genti. Geno him ni yuku. Okay. As you are sourcing for money for marriage, as you are preparing, hello, auntie, sister, sis, hello, lady, don't do these following things I'm going to be listing out, no matter what. Number one, never give or borrow money. Borrow money, as in borrow your husband to be money. In the name of he will use it to marry you, and later he will pay back. Did you read my lips? Yes. Never. Did you? You got that phrase. Never. Never. No matter how, how, how broke he is, don't give him, don't count your money and give to him and say, oh, I use it to come and do everything in me, in, on my head. When we get married, you, he will never pay you. He will never even, at the end of the day, men that do these things are fraudsters. By the time you do that and you get into that marriage, you'll be treated like a trash. Because you wouldn't know there is another person somewhere. And by the, at the end of the day, he walks out and he tells people that you were the one that did everything on your head. So what are you claiming? What do you want him to do? Did you get that? Never, 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 never. Secondly, don't pay part of your marriage rights. Don't pay part of your own marriage right. It is the man's sole responsibility. Read it. It is the man's sole responsibility. Did you read my lips? To do that. He has collected lists from your people. And they are, you understand what I'm trying to talk about. And he will tell you, uh, or you, you may tell him, hey, honey, let me take care of this aspect since you say you don't have much money. So that you take don't do it. Or he will tell you that eh, the money eh, for the list is uh, 500,000 and now I have 450,000. Please, can you give me 50,000 to complete? Say Amber. Mm -mm. Yo, tell him no, don't. Don't do that. Are you hearing me? The, no, the next thing you must not do is don't move him in to stay with him. In the name of we are planning for our marriage that is false that was what that guy told me he said we can move in together i say you are who before he now changed it in another meeting he said okay borrow me money i will use it to pay your 
the, can you imagine that insult? I saw it as an insult. I was so that very day. And after giving him the peace of my mind, I walked out of that marriage and that walked out of that relationship. Thank God I did. Yes. Always do what you get, what you need to do when you need to do it for your own tomorrow. Okay, now the fourth one is don't borrow money from the bank. <laughs> Don't borrow money from the bank or any financial institution just because you want to. You want to do your wedding. Don't do it. Because a lot of ladies, a lot of men also go into this trap and they get hooked up with the so I don't even know how to put it. Be believing that at the end of the wedding, they are going to make a lot of money. People are going to gift them money in envelope while they are dancing and all of that. So they'll be able to pay for all the whole debt. Don't do it. If not, you have heart attack after wedding. Don't borrow money from any financial institution. Every money, if you follow all of these steps, all of these things that I've pointed out, honestly speaking, you will come back to thank me later. I myself did it. Myself and my husband, we did these same things. It worked for us. It had worked for other persons. And that's why I'm sharing with you, it with you. So don't let money to delay you from getting married. If you're waiting for millions, it will never come. Just put your head into it and you'll see the whole thing work out. Don't borrow money. Don't don't buy, don't go and collect anything on that debt, saying that after the wedding you pay. Okay. This is what I say. Let me share with you. Wishing you well. Congratulations again in advance. Are you already in a relationship? Congratulations. Are you still waiting for the, the right man? Are you waiting for the right woman? God will provide for you. And the money for your marriage will come to you at a platter of gold. This is from me to you saying bye. Bye.